Hello, how are you? This is Jilly Bling. I have a project. This is the first of five using Dainty Delight Bundle. So this is a first project. Do, do, do. And you could write up here and over here or off to this side. But I saw a, um, a sample. I'll show you this. And it's a little bit busy. But somehow, I just like it. There's that one, that one, that one. I mean, that's fancy. Okay, and the product, you can't deny the product. It's beautiful. Dainty Delight is what this is focusing on. Shaded Summer, just because I wanted some different words other than this. All of these words, I plan on using them in the future five projects. And then, of course, the dyes. And the favorite dye, which made me decide this is a great Gotta Have It project. This one here, putting these little different flowers on it. I want to do that. And I don't even have it pulled out for these five projects. So I have to make a sixth one somewhere along the way. Oh, here's another dye. It's a little flower. Okay. So, this is early today. I have a really busy day, and I put, so every morning I watch Good Morning America, and I put it on pause, and then I'll go back, and I could do the fast forward thing. Good deal. It's like free time. Okay. So, what do we have here? We have the eucalyptus folder. Did you notice that on here? I love how that came out. It's right here. I moved the camera and I got it a little bit closer in the center. I'm hoping this is going to work out. But can you see how pretty that is? There you go. Isn't that beautiful? So right there looking at that, oh it's kind of plain, just has the words. But we know it's pretty. So eucalyptus folder. This paper is the designer paper. Oh, that's what I was getting at. Is if you get this bundle, which is $54.75, you get to choose anything for free from the celebration catalog, which runs through February. There's all kinds of free things in here, but this is a $50 purchase free. Back here further in the catalog is the Mossy Meadow little label. Oh no, I guess it's different colors. Free with a $100 purchase. That's 48 sheets. So, this is on page 55 of the mini catalog, the bundle. Then choose the paper for free. Or choose anything you like. But I like the paper. Okay, so I did that. What else do we have over here? Oh, this is a sample. So, this, and I don't have anyone's name on it. I had pulled off to the side, I don't even know how long ago this stamp set was available, but this is what this person did. Cute, huh? Cute layout. I would have never done this. That's not puff paint, that's something different. Anyhow, that's where it came from. Okay, so this piece is part of the designer paper. Same exact piece. So we're going to cut that out. And this piece goes right right here. And you know at first I just cut the outside and I stamped on it. I might have it. And then I stamped on it. So you could do that because cutting it out, if you don't like cutting, this is going to be hard. So let me cut this out. Okay, right here. But see how this just fits in here? So if you don't want to cut out the inside, you could just stamp right on here. Hello, you. But I like it cut out. I think it looks really delicate cut out. 
Okay, so we have those pieces. Um, this is for this movement, the big movement piece. See how it's tucked under here and there's a fold? So this needs to be scored. This is going to go in here. Let me find this other long piece. All these pieces. I think that's what needs to be scored. Oh, and then the base paper. Okay, we'll get to all these other pieces in a minute. And on my blog, after I do all five projects, I'll list all of these paper cut sizes. But for now, the base, cut it to five and a half by seven and a half, score it at four and a quarter. The upper top flap, this one right here, this white one, upper top flap, cut it to four and a quarter by four, scored at three and a half. I'm, I'm going to do that here in just a minute. And the hinge piece, cut it to five and a half by one. And we will score it after I get the sparkly piece on. Okay, so let me score base paper and big top hinge paper. Score this one at four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. This one here scored at three and a half. So three and a half right here. Okay. For now, that's all the scoring needed. Okay, let's just start putting this thing together because there's, there's, there's pieces everywhere. Hmm. This is going to go in here. This will go right here. There's no, oh, there is stamping on here. Okay, so for now, just going to put a little bit of adhesive and I'll pull this up and put it back down in just a minute. Let me get that centered. Okay, that goes like that. I haven't had much coffee yet. I was so excited about showing you this project. Tony left. It's not even seven o'clock yet. It's a six o'clock hour. It's 6.47. Mmm, I like morning coffee. Okay, oh, much better. So this goes on this piece in just a minute. This covers up the hinge. This gets the eucalyptus on it. I love this folder. I bought this for the kid's wedding because Michaela said her key thing was eucalyptus. Oh, but you know, stamp first. Let me stamp it first. And I'm going to use the word, love you, friend. Love you, friend. You know, I might as well. There's not too much stamping on here. And this one says, I think it's the hello, you. Be a little crooked. Well, I don't want to flip the paper over, so I might 
take the paper and kind of straighten it out. And I think there's just one more stampin. Oh, that's on here. Do I have a little white square? Right there. Some friendships are meant to be. That is such a nice set. Shaded Summer. Look at those wonderful words. Okay, and every time I stamp this, like you look at it on the block, it's like that's crooked. But when I flipped it over, I tried to make it straight with the block edge. I think my label is crooked on there. Okay, try it again. That worked. Okay, so we're done with stamping. Well, almost. I'm going to stamp the little sprigs on here. So which one was crooked? There was a crooked. Oh, this one here. Does it look that bad? Yeah. So to make it straight, yeah, looking on there, I'm going to cut it from right here and cut off maybe a sixteenth of an inch and then do that all the way around. That looks better. Okay, that goes there, that goes there. This gets textured. So I'm gonna get it centered, not worrying about the words. Like how much is here, how much is here. Okay. So that goes right here. This is inside piece. There, we almost have it all set. This is a hinge. Sparkly. And then this, just because the back side, oh, don't want to see that. So I put one of these right here. So see on the sample, imagine flipping it open and seeing the green pattern. Better with the fresh freesia. Okay, so I think let's just do the soft succulent on here. Soft succulent. And I want it to be soft because I don't want it to conflict with the words. So stamp off. She's such a pretty color. You know many of these colors are going away in early May. We'll be getting five new ones. But um, gosh, some of these colors I really like. Isn't that pretty? Oh, we're going to need this. So, two, I'll show you the difference between this one and this one. This I added just a little bit of color. This has no color. So I'm going to do that with a blender pen. I'll show you this one close up. So, just a little tap in there and a little bit of color. Just a hint of color. I don't want it too dark. Again, I don't want it to conflict with the with the words. 
And another thing is this stamp set. The um, images are so dainty. What's it called? Dainty Delight. Dainty Delight. Because they're so dainty, um, I would want to use the blends, but I can't. It's it's too too big. But this blending brush works perfect. See how it's just making it kind of come to life a little bit? And I'll put close-up pictures on my blog. And my blog is jillybling.com. And if you're interested in these five, after all five of them are done, a week later is the order by before date. And I'd love to send you each of these five card kits. If you're anywhere in the U.S. and don't have a demonstrator, I would love to have you order the bundle. Get your freebie because it's celebration. And I'll send you the card kits. Everything you need to make all five of these. Okay. How's that looking? I think I got them all. Soft succulent. Pretty, pretty. Okay, so this is ready to stick on. Finally, start assembling a little bit. Okay, let's get to assembling this. So the white paper, I'm going to make the flag. And to do that, cut right in the center, however deep you want your flag. Okay, so that one is done. Now let's attach it. To the sparkly paper. So when you attach it to the sparkly paper, oh this paper, look at that. And then it also comes in the fresh freesia. So soft succulent, kind of like a soft gold, and fresh freesia come in this package. Fine shimmer paper. Fresh freesia, soft succulent, gold. I think I want to put that on every single project. Okay, so when you put your white flagged paper onto your um, fine shimmer paper, and you would think, oh, put it way up here, drop it back just a little bit because you need room to make your, um, your angle, your angle cut. So once again, cut right to the middle. And if you had this too close, you wouldn't have room to do your top little cuts right here. Like if it was super close, your, um, your flag would be off. And after you do it a few times, then you'll be, yeah, I know what she's talking about. My robe is bumping out. Okay, so this part, I'm going to score it right there without the score tool. Just wherever it ends up is fine. Make sure it's straight. Okay, this is gonna go here. And this is gonna go on top. Okay, even though that's gonna show I have to have my papers going right side. Oh, that one's crooked. Somehow that one's okay if it's crooked.
Okay, so this goes right about there. And I'm just making sure that this is parallel with the flag. Maybe a little bit of a shift. Okay, now, does that look right? Okay, so that part is done. Very cute, huh? Okay. Let's work on these other parts. So this, hello you, that could be stuck down. and then this little wreath goes over the top. So I'm going to stick down the top half with glue and then in a minute I'll stick down the bottom half. I'm looking at places that I can easily bend. And I know the top bit and the bottom bit hang over so no glue goes there. Like right up here. Okay, that could dry for just a minute, and then I'll lift this and put more glue on it. This, you would think, just gets stuck down, but I have to tuck this underneath. So for now, I will stick this little flap down. And I'm just looking at how much is down here. And the rest of it just naturally falls in line. Okay. Then this is going to go here. I'll stick that in a minute. I'll give that glue a second to dry. And now this bit, this shimmery, I know that this is going to hinge right down under here. So. Okay, this gets stuck down. I love this paper. It's so pretty and it's free. Gotta love free. This fold is kind of busy. But I could see that you could do it with so many different things. Obviously Christmas, but any holiday. Anything, anything. almost to the edge. Okay, that's good. 
Now, shimmery. Guess what inspired my nail polish? <laughs> right before the appointment yesterday, I was working on this. It's like, I love that color. But I love all the colors. I was thinking even of the gold. Because I like that gold shimmer. But it's silver. Right there to the edge. There. Okay. And I think I can stick this down. I love that eucalyptus folder. And it's like a, a two for folder. The other one is pretty too. This goes right in the middle. So pretty. Okay. And I would say that this just goes in here, but we had to do this flap. Okay. So, flap gets glue. And I think right there against this edge hello you it's a little crooked it's bigger here will it still stick yes that that needs some attention. Okay, and then this one goes inside. Oop, I got some glue there to let that dry. And then it's time to decorate. When it came time to decorate, I was thinking, oh, I need to put a bow on it and all kinds of rhinestones. It's like, you know what? This card already has a lot going on. Isn't that cute? Okay, decorate. Decorate with iridescent rhinestone or pearls. One big one, and then two little ones. Okay, one big one. Hey, today's project is done. Isn't that nice? When Tony saw this, he goes, this, that's too fancy. You're going to drive the girls crazy. They're going to have problems with it. I'm like, the gotta have it, girls. They have it. They, they, they could do it without a problem. Okay, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want the, the dainty delight bundle and I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.